Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I will going to show you how we can delete product from the database table. So here after the image column, we are going to have a column called delete. So for it, what we are going to do is let's go back to our code and here you can see the image table header. So after this, we are going to have another T stack and in this T stack, we are going to say delete and after that we will go down and here you can see for each dollar product as dollar product so inside this for each group we are showing all the product data and here you can see the image td so after this td we are going to mention another td and in this td we are going to have a anchor tag then in this anchor tag we are going to send delete and for this anchor tag we are going to mention it push cap class let's say the class will be btn btn danger so let's set this then if we now just refresh here there you can see we have a delete button right now so right now what we know is that when you click on this delete button it will delete that certain row so let's go back and in this a shape we're going to give to second bracket then we'll set here url to first bracket to single quotation and it will be delete underscore product and we need to get the product id so in order to get the product id here you can see we use dollar products in order to get the quantity price category everything so here we are going to say dollar products then this arrow sign will get the id so if we now save it then refresh here and if we click on any delete button there you can see we are able to go to this url delete underscore product and the id for this product is 4 and if we now uh, let's say click on different product this on there you can see we are able to see different id so let's go and uh, create a route for this url so we we'll put to our routes then we we'll go to web.php let's go down then let me just copy this route from here control c then control v and here you can see delete underscore product product id so let me just copy this delete underscore product from here and we paste it over here and from here from the blade file we are also sending the id so we also need to cast the id here and in order to cast the id we need to give a slash then do second bracket and we need to say here id and we we'll use the admin controller and the function name will be delete underscore product let's save this and let's go to our admin controller and create this function so we we'll go to our app then http controller and here you can see admin controller so right now let's go down and here we are going to send public function delete product to first bracket and first of all we need to cache this id so in order to cache this id we need to say here dollar id then we need to give to second bracket and here we are going to declare a variable let's say dollar data then we say equal and after that we need to mention the table order name and here our table name is here our table name is product let me show you our table name is product and we already add the product table model name at the top of our controller so we are going to mention the product model name here we will give our here double tone fine to first bracket and we need to mention this dollar id here so we will say here dollar id so after this in order to delete that certain data with that certain id we need to say here dollar data this arrow sign delete so here what we are doing is that using the specific id we are find, finding the specific row in the product table then we are storing it in this dollar data variable then we are saying delete that certain data so it didn't delete the data and after deleting the data we keep the user on the same place so we say here return redirect this arrow sign back after deleting the data the user will stay on the same place so right now make sure to save everywhere then let's go back to the browser then let me refresh here okay i got an error public okay i did a spelling mistake it will be public function delete let me save it then refresh and here let's say we want to delete this first one so right now if i click on this delete option then you can see the page reloaded and that certain data is deleted so right now just like before in the previous tutorial 
uh, in the category part we added the this option over here are you sure to delete this so we are going to copy and paste that certain code in our product as well for this delete button for the product as well so let's go back to the code and let me just go to the admin then category.blade.php after that let me go down and for this delete button we are calling this on click confirmation event so i'll copy this then i'm going to paste it for this delete button for the order so let me just paste it here on click confirmation event and after that we'll go down and here you can see at the end of include admin.js and in the admin.js you already have that function let me just show you if we just go to the admin folder and in the js.bed.php we already write this function confirmation event ev over here like this so we were able to show the same message just like the category over here so right now if we now refresh here and click on this delete button it will show us a pop up over here like this are you sure to delete this if we cancel it will not delete that certain data and uh, let me just delete it let me just click ok and there you can see that data is deleted and after deleting the data we are going to show a message so for it what we are going to do is in the admin controller previously we show a message after adding the data so i am just going to copy this code from here control c and we will paste it over here after delete and we already installed Costa in our Laravel project so we only need to write this so if we now save then refresh here then click on this delete button click ok and it will show us a success process over here like this so this is how we can delete data on the product table this is all for this tutorial if you have any question or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials